Hi, this is Doug Reif with BMC Technical Support. This video will demonstrate the always on logging feature for AR Server. The always on feature ensures that a minimum set of logs is always available either on demand, at the time of a server crash, or when a particular set of errors occurs. I've just logged into my AR System server and I'm on the main menu. Now I'm going to go to the AR System Administration. ARS System Administration Console. Now I'm going to choose System. Under System, I'll choose General and Server Information. One of the tabs for Server Information is Always on Logging. I'll choose that, and you can see from here the options that you have available to you. As soon as AR Server is started, Always on Logging will start recording logging information, and it will record up to the size that's denoted here. So by default, Always on Logging will record 5 megabytes of information. Having the buffer size field set to 5 megabytes is considered to be low risk since 5 megabytes is a relatively negligible amount of memory for AR Server. Now let's look and see what kind of logging information is recorded. I'm just going to pop over to the Log Files tab. Always on Logging always records even if the logging option is not selected here. So I'm going to select items just to show you which logging is recorded. API logging, escalation, filter, SQL, thread, user, and server group logging are all recorded automatically. Again, they're recorded regardless of the setting I have here. Now let's go back to the Always on Logging tab. So now you know that Always on Logging is continually logging information into memory. But you may be asking, how can I view that logging information? Well, you can't view it while it's in memory. In order to view the information, you have to dump it to a file. An AR server provides three ways to dump that information to a file. First of all, let's look at the file. The file name that it's going to write to is specified here. By default, it goes into the DB directory where all your other logs are typically stored. And the file name is called alwayson.log. There's a view button here so you can view the log directly without having to go to the file system. So the first way to dump the logging information to the file is to simply click on the save to file button. Once I click on this, automatically all five megabytes of information is written to the file that's specified. And I can go and click on the view button and see that data. Now this is the combined log showing the API, SQL, thread, and all the other logs that I showed you. We'll go back to the Always on Logging tab, and we'll look at the second method of dumping the log information. You notice the field here, Errors Triggering Log. By default, it lists 8790. So whenever an AR error 8790 occurs, AR Server will automatically dump the memory into this file. This is a semicolon separated list, so you can include other error messages, like, for example, a 552 or a 92 error. And any time those errors occur, error server will automatically create the file. And that brings up the next field, the maximum backups. Each time error server or you manually generate the log file, the existing files will get backed up. In this case, I can have up to 20 backups. The third and final method for dumping the logging information into a file is not something I can show you here. If AR server abnormally terminates, it will attempt to write the always on log before it exits. So that's the three ways that you can write the always on log. We'll go back to the system general section and we'll click on plugin server configuration. I'll choose a plugin here. We'll click on the second tab, the plugin server configuration, and you'll notice on the lower right the always on section. And this is showing you that each of the plugin servers has its own always on log. And here you can set, again, the maximum size for that logging and the number of copies, as well as the log file name. And you notice that the log file name contains the port number, so it's easy to identify. The plugin server always on log gets generated exactly the same time that the main always on log gets generated. Let's take a quick look at what the plugin server always on log looks like. And you'll notice here this looks just like a regular plugin server log, except for one difference. Regardless of the log level that you have set for the plugin server, the always on log will contain debug information. 
So now you know how to use and configure the always on logging feature of AR Server. I hope you found this video to be useful. Thank you for watching.